I'm Sarah from the upcoming Lovely to Meet You. Hello, Sarah. How are you? Um, if you can um, oh, <laughs> give us a brief introduction to your Christmas or mine, what can people expect when they watch it? Um, it is a Christmas rom com that's really about family. It's about two lovers who decide to surprise each other and they cross over on the train station, they get on each other's trains, they end up at each other's families and they have to spend fam you know, a family Christmas with each other's families. Um, I wanted to write something that was a celebration of... <laughs> I wanted to write something that was like a celebration of going home for Christmas and what it means to share Christmas with your family, and that's what I've tried to do. And it's hard to believe this is kind of your, your feature debut in terms of in terms of writing. What kind of gave you the initial inspiration, and what were maybe some of the Christmas films you grew up watching, or you know, if that's not been on the telly yet, it's not Christmas for you. Yeah, I mean, films are such an important part of our Christmas, you know, for my family, and, and like we all get together and watch Muppets Christmas Carol, we watch Home Alone. You know, these are the kind of films that kind of, they're the cornerstones of Christmas for us. Um, but I was kind of inspired by those kind of, those kind of big capers like planes, trains and automobiles and things like that, like old fashioned, high concept 80s kind of comedies where, you know, you set out kind of a bold premise. And I just, I remember having the idea, I think I was in a train station, I just thought, God, no one's, no one's done that, where people have to spend Christmas at each other's family's Christmas. And I just thought, God, I, I should, I should write it if it hasn't been done, you know. And I don't know if you had a different list in mind, but it seems like a dream cast. I mean, Ace Butterfield, obviously seen, you know, really kind of, you know, his stars very much on the rise. Cora, this is her first screen role, but absolutely knocks out of the park. And then lots of really well-known faces from Daniel Mays and Angela Griffin and Harriet Walters and Alex Jennings. I mean, what was it like to see them all putting up, bringing your story to life? It literally was a dream cast. And like, I, could, I can tell you, it sounds like, um, it sounds like a cliche, but I was in one meeting and I said, obviously, Obviously, obviously not Harriet Walters, but it should be someone like Harriet Walters. And three days later, I was on a Zoom call with Harriet Walters, and I was just like, this is insane. And, you know, like, every member of the cast is kind of like was the, the perfect person to have. And I was just, I felt like a, I know it's cliche, but I felt like a kid at Christmas, because I was like, watching those people, you know, Ace is just, from the moment she read, he read, from the moment Ace read the script and said he was interested, it just kind of snowballed from there, really. And Ace is just such a joy to work with. As soon as we found Cora, it was just like, of course, she has to be Hayley. And then every every step of the way to have, you know, David Bradley, Harriet Walters, you kind of have these kind of acting royalty, you know, in the room. And Ram John Holder, who's like, you know, you know, someone who I grew up watching in Desmond's, as Port Pie in Desmond's, just think comedy royalty. And there he is, you know, on set. It's just, it was a dream come true, it really was, yeah. I mean, I guess there maybe one challenge was trying to create Christmas, but in July, like, what was that like? I mean, people must have been sweltering in their sweaters and having, I don't know how much fake snow you had to bring in. It was mad. It was mad in a really lovely way. It felt like Willy Wonka filmmaking, you know, where they had kind of, they had shields to block out the sun and they were sticking all these snow machines on and just trying to, you know, it was, it, it was proper movie magic type thing where you turn a corner in North London and suddenly it was blanketed with snow and you just kind of thought, well, this is what it's all about, you know. This is kind of make-believe town and it just felt, it, it felt like a crazy adventure every step of the way. And what do you hope people take away? Because I think what surprised me as well, in, in addition to kind of like the real moments of levity and fun, you know, there's these really sort of like, you know, like touching moments which make you think about what it's like to have suffered loss or grief and, and have to be, you know, put a brave face on it because it's Christmas Day and you're supposed to be laughing and having fun. Um, so it's important for you to kind of balance those things. Uh, it, totally. And I think, I think so much of, you know, with, with given this message about Christmas that, like, you have to have fun, you have to enjoy it. But obviously... You, you never feel lost more keenly than at moments like Christmas. And I know, you know, every time we sit down at Christmas dinner, my granddad's not there. And I, I remember every single Christmas dinner with my granddad. It was such an important part of Christmas Day. And when he's not there, he is still there in a way, you know. And I think I, I really wanted to reflect that because, you know, that's what that's what Christmas is about, you know. You, you, you remember the people who aren't there as much as the, celebrating the people who are there. And, I, you know, I did want to have that in there. Um, you know, hope, uh, what I hope is people watch the film and it makes them look forward to getting back to their family and, 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 and spending that time with them, really. And whether we've got a mansion or not, it's just being with other people is what counts. Totally. It's, that's all it's about. It's just about, it's all about who you're with and that's it. It doesn't matter what the presents are, it doesn't matter how lavish the food is, it just matters about being together. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for sharing all that with us. Can't wait for everyone else to see the film. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the night.